Good evening, Shayna. This is a showdown that's been building for months here on Beacon Hill, and today it came to a head. Most everyone here at the State House agrees that the state needs to spend billions on transportation and infrastructure improvements, but Democrats and the governor remain far apart on how to pay for it. All those in favor say aye. House lawmakers aye. returned to Beacon Hill today after a late night during which they approved up to $600 million a year in taxes and fees, earmarked for improving Massachusetts roads, bridges, and public transit systems. Additional resources are now available. But much of the House plan relies on increasing the state's gas tax by five cents and the diesel tax by nine cents. Governor Baker said if that part of the plan reaches his desk, he'll veto it. We've said before that we don't support an increase in the gas tax um, for a number of reasons. Puts uh, retailers along the border in an anti-competitive position with folks on the other side of the border. Um, and it doesn't do much for, for climate. Baker prefers borrowing to pay for long-term transportation upgrades, and he wants to pay off those bonds in part by using future federal grants as guarantees. We're not in a position to give away as collateral our future federal grants. That would be a dangerous practice. The Baker administration has also proposed borrowing against future revenues from a proposed pollution permit program currently being worked on by a dozen Northeast states. But Democratic lawmakers say that too would be risky because that permit program is still just a proposal. It's not there. It's not there today for you to responsibly be able to approve a bond bill. <laughs> Now, this, uh, the Democrats might end up having the upper hand in this particular case. That is because their transportation funding bill, including the gas tax, did pass the House last night with enough veto, enough votes to potentially override a gubernatorial veto. The next step, however, will be for the state Senate to take up the plan. Live at the State House Bureau, David Beating, WCVB News Center 5.